We're starting the post game show a little early today. Uh, Wayne Viner, Bruce Bowser's is up in the press box. Oh, Jack Rothenberg, Mason's down in Florida catching this one. Maryland for one of the few times runs the Rigo drill. Getting the ball with 2.53 to go. Keeps it going as the clock is 34 seconds. The ball's on the nine yard line. It's actually going to be party time in College Park. We'll be back with the Big Dog Post Game Show live from the field right after the game. <laughs> A great evening in College Park, Maryland, 30-24 over rival West Virginia. I'm Wayne Viner, that's Bruce Poster. Behind the cameras, Jack Rothenberg, you are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show. Bruce, that was great. It was great. I loved how they won it. I tell you what, I was totally, totally confused in the third period with the rushing game. The locks had a way, didn't want to take any chances. Didn't want any turnovers, and at the end of the day, did we have a turnover? Uh, a turnover, you count the fourth down, we didn't get That's not yes. a turnover, but I mean. Well, in the book, anyhow, no, but West Virginia had three. Um, several of those plays came right at me, was sitting in the end zone. You can see the pictures here on the Demas touchdown, on the uh, Rock Jarrett touchdown, on that big run from Fleet that got it to the nine. I just kept waiting for West Virginia to pull away. It seemed like they ain't got stuck at 21-20 for an hour. Yeah, at 21-17, you were worried, I was worried. Then you had the ball hit the goalpost 52 yards. Good to see that. Yeah. And you started wondering, is this going to happen again? But somehow or another, the defense kept us in the game. Yeah. All right. It was uh, Hippolyte and the whole crew. Hippolyte. Hippolyte. And, and the freshman had a play because Gote got hurt. And Rogers, our guy. Our guy. I actually right. saw him after the game. Uh, well, if you haven't seen it, you got to watch the team sing the fight song. I got in the middle of that dog pile. It was fantastic. Jacorian Bennett's interception in that end zone down there. And you can see the pictures behind us. That, that changed the game again. It yes. looked like West Virginia was going to win the game. That did it. It was, listen, a great win. You play 12 games. This is one that can go either way. Now what do you need? You need two more non-conference wins and three conference wins, and they're going bold. All right? And certainly expectations will be a lot higher yeah. after the night. The uniforms look like old times. Right. They played like old times. I feel say? like hugging you. I don't know. We won. We won. <laughs> That's all that matters. Jack, thanks for doing this. We have to get inside for the press conference. Um, you can catch us. Let's get Jack's comments real quick. So we'll put this on. Paul. Still on the field here. Got to give you that press conference. What did you see that impressed you today? Something that really impressed me was Leah. He looked very comfortable in the pocket. He was finding open receivers. And, yeah, he had a couple of drops from Demas and other receivers. But... He looks very comfortable in his second full season in this offense. I'm really looking forward to what comes next because I think he can take a big jump this year and lead this team to great things. Well, today was part of a big jump. This has been the Big Dog Post Game Show. We're going to go in for the press conference. Jack, thanks for all your help. We'll see you after the next home game against Howard on Saturday.